Hello! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This time I'll be showing you how to make a Game Boy quilt. It's gonna be super colorful, so let's go! So here we're gonna do the first half of the Game Boy. We're gonna do it with very pink, black, gray, and white. And adding a cute little border, you can do that step optional, but I do recommend adding a border. Then you're gonna do the bottom half with the same buttons and a little border. Just add the border, please. It's very important. It has it because then that's gonna be too small. And you're gonna make sure once you're done with that to make it in a bunch of different colors. Now here you can make it of all the original Game Boy colors, or you can make it of the colors of your choice. It's gonna be your quilt after all, so make it to your liking. I'm gonna go with as close as possible to the original colors. Just make sure you make enough Game Boys to fit your bed or whatever you're gonna use it on. Just make sure you have enough, okay? And if you're liking this video and all the other ones that I do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Now we're gonna start adding another border, a straight strip down. You're gonna make it just like you do binding. You're gonna put it down, then on the top, then on the other side, and on the bottom. You're just gonna repeat the same process through all the pieces. Now that you have them all together, lay them out in the rows of your liking, in the colors of your choosing, and stitch them all together. I recommend stitching them threes and threes, and then attach the three rows together. Once you're done with that, put it on a quilt sandwich and quilt it to your liking. Here on the floor, sorry, I don't have a bigger table. You can see my dog Yoshi inspecting my work. He likes laying on it while I'm quilting it. He's my little inspector. I quilted it with straight lines and squiggly lines and added a little extra border. I sorry didn't take a video of that piece. But as you can see on the reverse part, you can see the straight lines and the squiggle lines. My machine does it. If you don't have it, you can do it freehand. It's all optional. And thanks again for watching my video. If you'd like to support my work and what I do, you can check me out on Patreon, Geeks and Quilts. You can support me for just a dollar a day. And again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. And after all, have a great day and stay geeky!